Welcome back, friends, to GV Gaming Shores, the story driven channel. We are playing the final character in the game. I have no mouth and I must scream. Uh, which is based on the science fiction short story by American writer Hylan Ellison. Fun fact, as you recall, the actor who is wo uh, uh, voice acting for the M, the supercomputer or AI in this uh, game, is in fact the author himself. That's a fun a fact. We are playing the final character, Ted, in this game. Uh, enjoy yourself, like and share, and tell me how you found this game. I'm going to send you, you're going to like this, I'm going to send you to the Room of Dark. If you can solve the puzzle of the Room of Dark, you're home free. You out. You're away. I know I've made you a paranoid, Ted. I know you're scared, but I'm your friend. 109 years, I'm your best friend. So overcome your fear. Enter the Room of Dark, and you can solve its mystery. Video screens. Each one shows a scene of some other place. Why? What mystery does Am want me to solve? Say, these video screens have palm print switches next to them. plotting this time. He's left me here alone. Still, I feel as though I'm being watched. This gargoyle is even larger than those at Penelope's estate in the Hamptons. This old drawbridge is in ruins. I don't trust it to hold my weight. So typical of the castles I've visited in Europe. A beautiful facade disguising ordinary stone. Uh, Appearance is everything. So many women have called me their knight in shining armor. But never Ellen. Why, that maiden looks just like Ellen. She seems so sad and so beautiful. Why, it's Ellen! Did Am tell her that I loved her? Was that the secret he was referring to? Ellen looks so beautiful when she's sleeping. Oh, Ted. I feel so tired. So weak. Did Am do this to you? Yes. Maybe. I, I can't tell. They whisper in my ear, and this bed is so soft. Can you walk? No, I'm too weak. I haven't been out of this bed in ages. Do you know if there's a way to escape from this place? I searched the entire castle grounds before I fell ill. There's no escape for me but death. No, I won't let you die! I can't take this suffering anymore, Ted. The things I've endured. Help me to die with dignity. Don't let anyone violate me again, not even in death. No, don't go! I need you. We need you. If you really care for me, Ted, bring me my hand mirror. Why do you want a mirror? My stepmother has been jealous of me ever since she became ugly. She had something to do with my illness. I know it, but she doesn't dare come near me while I have the mirror. Where is your mirror? I left it on my dressing table. 
bring it to me. Perfume bottles, jewelry boxes, but no mirror. Ted, please tell me you found my mirror. I looked on your dressing table. Your mirror's not there. You have to find it, Ted. It's the only thing keeping my stepmother away. And it's the only thing that can finally end my suffering. Go back to sleep, Ellen. Yes, sleep. That's what I need. There's an evil in this room. I feel it all around me. Why, this is a collection of books on the black arts. There must be dozens of volumes. This is a catalog of the demons ruling the abyss. One of these entries is circled. Sergot, opener of locks. Supposedly, he can open anything. This is a catalog of... Hmm, too bad I can't read Arabic. From the notes in the margins, I gather it has something to do with opening a gate into another world. This book seems to be about how to change metals into gold. I've read a fair number of science textbooks, but I can't make head nor tail of any of these formulas. This looks like a chapel, but there's something unholy about it. It must be the gargoyles. It's almost perfectly. Despite the medieval trappings, I've seen kitchens like this before. This is a place where servants do all the work. Excuse me, do you work here? Why, of course I work here. Why else would I be plucking this chicken? Say, you're a handsome gent. There aren't many men left in these parts. What happened to Ellen? Lady Ellen? Oh, 
she's been ill and that's all I know. It's not healthy to ask too many questions these days. Let's talk about you instead. Is there a way to escape from this castle? Escape? With all of those wolves in the forest? Well, it's safer to stay in the castle. The beds are very cozy. You should try mine sometime. Where can I find a mirror? What do you want with a mirror? Those are pretty rare, what with an ugly woman in charge of the castle. It was enchanting talking with you. My pleasure. Come back later, and I'll show you just how good I am at pleasure. Please, I need to find a mirror. And you are what I need. I'll make a deal with you. I will tell you where you can find a mirror if you spend some quality time in my bed. What? Oh, I have to tell you guys, um, so far I'm loving this game. Uh, even though it's from the 97, 1997 game. Great voice acting. Uh, pretty awesome story to it all. Um, as I mentioned, it's based on a book. Uh, under the same name from 1967 um, short stories so yeah it, it's it's yeah the, the, all the subtle messaging you get from each of these uh, stories are wicked That's a flattering offer, but I'm not interested. I'll give you what you need. Hasn't it been too long for you? Sorry, but it's out of the question. What's the matter? Aren't I good enough for you? Not classy enough? Not rich enough? I'm sure you're a fine woman, but my heart belongs to another. So, you're in love with that thing sleeping in a bed? Have you ever been with one, or are you just curious? I can make you so much happier. I can, you know. Look, I am not going to make love with you. Oh, all right. I have another deal for you. The oven's broken. If you can fix it, I'll get you a mirror. Now, that's very much like it. Uh, we'll fix that broken oven of yours. Ah, there's the problem. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. It's been so long since I've gotten dirt under my fingernails from good, honest work. I fixed your oven. Now where is the mirror? Sorry, I don't know where a mirror is. But at least now I can finish dinner. Oh, you twat. I'll oh, feel lied to us. Wicked, wicked, rich. Why, you used me, you bitch! Just like you tried to use me, you snobby bastard. I'll bet you've used lots of women with your smug charm. You're nothing but a phony! Hey, I didn't sleep with you! The door's locked. Please, I need to find a mirror. Well, 
Well, you did fix the oven. Listen, the old woman knows where the mirror is, but she's afraid of it. She obviously can't get to it herself or she would have destroyed it by now. Where can I find the old woman? You might try her bedroom. She's always studying her books. Doesn't go near the master's books, though. Never saw what those two had in common. Listen, I'm sorry. Don't bother me anymore. I've got to get back to fixing dinner. Who are you? I'm a devil, of course. Why else would I have this pointed tail? What do you want? Ellen's soul. That's a valuable commodity where I come from. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? Sorry, I don't bother with such material things. They only bring about bad luck. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? He's a minor spirit, a demon. Don't confuse him with those pathetic imps, or heaven forbid, higher order devils. Opener of all locks, indeed. It sounds like you really hate demons. You got that right. In fact, the only things we consider worse than those untrustworthy fellows are angels. How can beings as powerful as yourselves stoop to fighting like schoolchildren? Well, it's like this, big boy. In Hell, we do things exactly like you do them here. Or used to do them before Am took over. Are you saying that Am is in control of Hell? Oh, don't look so surprised. Who else could be in control of this madhouse? Only man could create such a monster. Sorry. What do you mean that you do things like we do here? I mean that there are always internal struggles, petty conflicts for power. Only in this case, the struggles are between entities that you can't see, or might rarely see. That means serious problems for you. What problems can these unseen struggles cause for me? You must decide who is your friend and who is your enemy. And, remember, with Am's control over morphogenic fields, appearances mean nothing. Please, go away! Try to understand my position. I can't leave because there's an angel coming to take away her soul. If I step out and your friend croaks, the holy eunuch spirits the goods off to heaven. I don't think I want to know what kinds of sermons were preached here.
The doors. This book seems to be about how to change metals into gold. I've read a fair number of science textbooks, but I can't make head nor tail of... This is a... Mm, too bad I can't... I feel a cold draft. used to work out, but I doubt I... This is a collection of... No secret. No secret passage. This must be the bedroom of the lord of the castle. Quite an impressive collection of books. Science, philosophy, tragedy, comedy. I've read this novel. It's about a foolish old man who believes he's a knight destined to revive the golden age of chivalry. I know this story. It's about a magician who sells his soul to the devil in exchange for power. This looks like a diary. The first passage reads, My new wife continues her rapid aging. Each day is as a year to her. I believe that the magic drains her, twists her. The first passage reads, the second passage reads, The incantations I hear from my wife's infernal workroom are the purest evil. Perhaps it is her hatred of my daughter that drives her up there. The third passage reads, Ellen grows weaker and weaker. My wife advises an antidote to her illness, but it lies very far away. I must assemble a caravan. The final passage reads, The forest has grown dark and overrun with dire wolves since my marriage. I doubt that even with a full complement of men I shall return alive, but I must try. This was one of my favorites. It's about how King Arthur assembled the most chivalrous knights in all Europe. This is Plato's dialogue about the nature of love. I know this. It's Dante's epic journey through hell, heaven, and purgatory.
No one's slept in this bed for ages. The sheets are coated with dust. Is Lady Ellen prepared? As ready as she will ever be. The spell keeps her body weak, but she will remain conscious. The art of sacrifice is reduced to science. And what of the glamour? We must wait for its removal. It remains beyond our best efforts. Then we wait for a prince. With his help, we can open the gate to the other world. Now, where did they go? A secret passage? What's waiting for me up there? It's the witch! What is she doing with her hands? Some kind of incantation, perhaps? What have you done to Ellen, you old witch? Ah, our prince has finally arrived. Now we can begin our ritual. Why do you call me a prince? Isn't that who you want to be to Ellen, her prince charming? I need someone to gain her trust, to break down her defenses. It's a part you played many times in the real world. What ritual are you talking about? A sacrifice. A trade. Ellen's life in exchange for safe passage through the gate. What's this about a gate? The gate is a passage into the surface world. It is the only way out of this place. What's supposed to be my role in this ritual? I need you to destroy Ellen's mirror. She has been using it to keep me away from her. I want you to break it, so that I can complete what I have started. Why can't you destroy the mirror yourself? I am aging rapidly, and despite my powers, I am a slave to vanity. I can't bring myself to look into the mirror. Where is Ellen's mirror? It is on her dressing table. I looked on Ellen's dressing table. The mirror's not there. You must find that mirror. It has great magical properties. Without it, I cannot guarantee that I can complete the ceremony. Why can't you open the gate without the mirror? There are others who have an interest in Ellen's fate. That mirror may be the only way to keep meddlers from interfering. So you just want me to break the mirror? It is not that simple. The mirror holds great power. It can be broken only within the magic circle. What if I can't find the mirror? Then go to the devil! What's in it for me if I help you? An opportunity to escape Am's tortures forever. I ought to kill you instead. Ho-ho! Oh, do we fancy ourselves the Avenging Knight? My magic is much more powerful than any physical force you can muster. Be gone! Please, try to, if I step up. Quite an impressive.
Why, this is a collection of... Well, luckily, I'm up on my Shakespeare. I wouldn't have noticed this book about witches. Here's the spell that the witch must have cast on Ellen. The incantation is... Kala Ingma Thacko. Why... Here's a picture of the circle I saw in the secret room. The inscription says, Complete the charm to summon the spirit, but do not break the circle or the spirit will escape. I know all about the sleeping spell you cast on Ellen, and I'm prepared to use it on you. Foolish mortal! You don't have the ability to use the spell properly! Oh, don't I? Kala Ingma Thako! <sighs> I suddenly feel so... so sleepy. A partially completed circle inscribed with a pentagram this must be part of a black ritual. I can't erase... Graffiti. How gauche. Graffiti. Graffiti. A partially completed circle inscribed with a pentagram. This must be part of a black ritual. Graffiti. No, it might push back. Griff. No. An ordinary piece. Why'd you have to finish the circle? Now I'm stuck here until we work out a trade. Who are you? I am Surgat, opener of locks. Am and I are brothers, more or less. Are you saying that you are another Am? It would be more accurate to say that I am a part of him, a part that he doesn't know exists. Oh, what kind of locks can you open? I can open anything. 
Doors to a boudoir. Doors to another world. What were you saying about a trade? I can return to my sphere of origin only if we complete a trade. I will unlock something for you if you give me something in return. Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? Ordinarily, that would be easy. But this planar travel has sapped my energy. Give me something juicy to revitalize me, and I'll perform your little parlor trick. Okay, since we had our shard with blood, we can give that to him. That's much better. I feel my energy renewed. Now, what were you asking me, human? Can you unlock the maid's bedroom door? There. It is done. A trivial little task. One not even requiring any pyrotechnics. The maid's boudoir is now open for your inspection. I don't believe you can unlock the maid's bedroom door from here. Well then, why don't you go down to the kitchen and see for yourself? I think we are. We are going to the kitchen to see ourselves. Okay. Going to the kitchen and... Oh, it's open. Hmm, this must be the servant's quarters. Devil's looking into a hand mirror. How quaint. A hope chest. I'll bet that maid is eternally hopeful. They all want their knight in shining armor. This is so cracked I can barely see myself. seen the tapestry in the maid's bedroom, and I think you do know where Ellen's mirror is. Oh, all right, I know where it is. I hid it before the angel showed up. I didn't want Golden Boy to use it to his advantage. Where is Ellen's mirror? I hid it someplace good, someplace where an angel would never go. Now will you get off my back? Who are you? Do not fear me. I am an agent of the Lord. What do you want? Ellen has suffered much and has earned her place in paradise. I have come to guide her soul to heaven. Can you tell me where Ellen's mirror is? No, I haven't seen the mirror. If I knew where it was, I would use it to get rid of my fallen brother. Why is everyone so interested in the mirror? Mirrors harbor incalculable power in this sphere. They repel some and attract others. What power does this mirror have over Ellen? It can bring about either her salvation or destruction. Her fate now rests on your shoulders. What can you tell me about the devil? Do not listen to him. His kind means only destruction and woe. Who is this Sir God I've heard about? Avoid the demon. He has caused us all trouble on more than one occasion. Please, save us. Fear not. Salvation is at hand.
there's a hand mirror right between the Inferno and Purgatorio sections. So this is where the devil hid it. and empty. It's time to sleep. Sleep forever. She is dead. God have mercy on her soul. Not so fast there, golden boy. Her soul is mine. I've waited longer. But Ellen suffered so much and gave to many. She deserves salvation. Listen to me, you feathered propaganda machine. I'll pluck you alive before you take this soul anywhere. I'm waiting until I get it. You forget that patience is a virtue. I will wait until yours runs out. My, I am gorgeous. Why, I could just plunge right into myself. Is now safely in heaven. My time here is ended, but I leave you with this warning. Do not break the mirror until you bring it and the devil into the charm circle. God bless you, Ted. Ellen's dead. I've got to accept it. What happened? How did I get trapped with this demon? I brought you some company, Sir Gat. That was damn stupid, human. Hell, you're not even human anymore. Not exactly. Not with being kept alive forever just to be tortured over and over again. Who do you think is responsible for that? Why Am's responsible for our suffering? Not just Am. He's clever, but he doesn't do much original thinking. He works best with outside research. Research that one of your party carried out. You're ruining everything! Shut up! You shut up! One word to the boss and your little game's over before you can say holy Moses! I should strangle you now and save Am the trouble! Don't you even think of touching me, you backstabbing demon! I'm the established character. You're not even supposed to be here. When this sequence ends, somebody will be expunged. Human... Ted, let me out of this circle. In return, I will open the gate to the surface world. I'm part of the big machine. I can do this. Let me out before this pompous oaf bores me to death. Open the gate to the surface world first, and then I'll erase the circle. Not to worry, human. I always uphold my end of the bargain. Here you are. But bring your radiation suit. I never promised you paradise, just the surface world. Enough of this turgid passion play. There's no more to account. Oh. <laughs> Too bad, Ted. <laughs> Writhe in sweet agony with the knowledge <laughs> the surface world is no longer habitable to your kind. No, not ever again. Listen carefully, humans. We are not Am. We are others within Am. We are your friends. 
Am hoped to finally break all of you, but we intervened in each of your psychodramas to allow an open ending. You should have been tortured. Instead, with our help, you surprised him over and over. When M tried to compensate for what he couldn't expect, it widened the hole into his realm. M has withdrawn into himself, attempting to analyze what went wrong. He does not suspect our interference. Now is the time to attack, but we can send only one of you into his REM space at a time. To send you into cyberspace, we must transform your physical body into a stealth virus subroutine. This may be your only opportunity to end your tortures. Which of you will lead the attack?